Hey everyone, Overkill here again for another video. Today we're going to unbox the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. This is from the newest wave. I was really glad to get this, and I actually got mine on Amazon for $13.99 because it was on sale during the pre-order. So I saved money at the same time, which is really awesome. First, we'll take a look at the package. You can see the Red Ranger here. And on the sides, just, you can kind of see it angles so you can see the whole helmet on that and then on the back is the figure post on the bottom just the information top just the color let's get this thing open and check it out here he is out of his box in his clamshell you can see he has an unmasked head and the power blaster power sword a couple extra hands and an energy effect Here he is out of the package. I got the power blaster in. I kind of wish they'd have one of these power blasters that would, you could slide and change it into a blade or just an alternate blade or something. That way you can have both. It's like we always get one or the other. But it's still cool. Fits in his hand like so. I'll put it back in the pouch, take a look at him. The coloration, the reds are off a little bit between the arms and the chest and stuff, but it's still really nice looking. Paint apps seem all right on the helmet. Down into the body, he does have like a butterfly joint here. His arm go up about that high. And almost, well, not quite straight down, but... He has the upper cut and double jointed elbows. And then, of course, the movement at the hands and wrists, which is for the alternate hands. On to the chest area, we have sort of an ab crunch type effect. Goes back about that far. Forward about so, not a lot. But if you work it with the bottom part, then you can go way down. And it clicks and goes way back as well. At the waist, there is no turn. But you can see the belt. And it's painted really nice. It's not real sloppy for as little as it is. It's got a little bit of black off on it right here. And the belt, it's like it's flexible a little bit. It works with this. So that's pretty cool. But there's no turn above or below it. On the legs, he can split about so. Straight down. Not a lot of movement back. But frontward, he can kick fairly decent. His uh, uppercut here on the thigh. You turn it all the way around. He does have double jointed knees. And the neck. Oh, he does have the calf cut. To allow for rotation there and then on the ankle you can pivot up and down you can hear it click in there so first we'll look at the alternate hands snaps in like so and it's just a closed fist for fighting and it is the exact same for the right hand so we won't go into detail there Next, we look at the face. We have the helmet here. I showed you a little bit close up a minute ago. Just pop it off. Pop it on like so. Take a close look. I think they've done really good with the heads on these. Some of them actually look better than the figure arts versions. And this says a lot for me as a figure arts collector, but I was a little bit disappointed in the unmasked or unhelmeted heads on the Rangers. And it's cool because you just take the helmet, you just have it holding on to it. And that's really neat that you can do that and it doesn't look like a crappy head, but it actually looks like a helmet. It'd be really cool if they made like a snap on one you could just put it over top of the head. 
Next we have the Power Sword. Here you can see pretty good detail on it. I do not know if the weapons combine or not. This is actually my first non-Tommy Mighty Morphin Ranger that I've picked up in this series. But it does have an electric effect to it. If I can get it on. There you go. It's really cool. Let's put it in his hand check it out. It allows you to be swinging in for an attack. That's really neat. I did pick up Lord Zed though, so I do have at least that for Mighty Morphin. And he could be fighting Jason and Tommy for now. I don't know which ones of the team I'll get all together. But they're really nice figures, and they're built well, and I like that they're not real bulky, like the previous Legacy Wave stuff was. Um, I like those, but they just, to me, were too bulky for a Ranger. And these here got the better slender look to them. And I'm glad to have this in my collection, especially for the price. I mean, $13.99 is a great deal for this Jason. Didn't get so lucky with Floor Dragon. I had to pay retail for him, but still pretty cool. I don't know if I want to open him yet or leave him with my inbox collection for my Tommy stuff. If I decide to open him, I'll do another video. That's going to be all, though. Um, quick little videos showing all the features and stuff. Really nice. I'm glad I got him. He's not my favorite Ranger. Tommy is. But, I mean, he's iconic. He was actually my favorite before Tommy showed up. So that's got to be something. I was glad I was able to meet him. So his autograph here on this, by the way. Really great guy. All the Rangers are great that I've met. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want me to do more of these, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I bid you all farewell.